Eight. And Papagallo has a screamer of a start in pole position. And number 59, Gert Sovic, is in second place in the wind race propeller boat. And Gert Sovic, my goodness, he's screaming up the course. It looks then as though Sovic is the leader. Papagallo is up on the inside, but Sovic looks to me to be the leader at the moment. What a sight they make as they go up to the top of the course. And Papagallo is now the clear leader on the inside, but Sovic is right up there in, the, in number 17, the all red boat. Papagallo turns first, Sovic turns second. Then in third place is Betancourt, then Bondadrini. And they're the only ones I can see from this end. They're all round safely. Den Hartog made a mess of it, but he's still running and he's still OK. And the last man round was Lille, the all-green boat from France, number 37. Papagallo then leads. So Papagallo is the clear leader, but Sovic is uh, up in, in second place. And now Sovic has dropped back a little bit. Um, it is now uh, 41, so Araldi is right up into second place now. But Italy first and second. And what a screamer of a sight they make round this. Den Hartog is really struggling. The wind race boat, number 14, Bian, the young lady, Sunstral, is right at the back of the field getting a real rough ride. And then Leleur brings up the rear, but Papagallo, Bondadrini, Araldi, are all up there and Papagallo, pole position man, is the race leader in second place, number 41, Araldi now, Araldi is second, 67 then, and that is La Fasse from Italy, so the Italian boats are first, second and third, and then um, AJ tells me number 44 comes next, and that's Neepkins, Neepkins right down at the bottom, but Neepkins is right there. And Papagallo is the race leader. Papagallo then leads Bondadrini Araldi. Uh, number 44 dropping back just a fraction, but he's still going pretty well. So Vic, Vic Torrenfleet is only in fifth place, but my goodness, that boat really is sliding along. That's number five. And Torrenfleet seems to be starting to make progress. He had a pretty awful start. Betancourt, right at the back. He was in second position on the grid, but my goodness, he's right at the back. He had an absolute disastrous first half lap. But this man, Papagallo, is the clear leader. So Papagallo leads. Papagallo, as he's pulling away, number 30 leads. And then uh, in, in second place, number 41, that's Araldi. Then in third, 67, is La Fasse, first, second and third. Then 44 comes after that, and that's Neepkins. And now past Neepkins, Torrenfleet then is up to be fourth. And uh, somebody looks as though they've lost their cowling going up this side. The Number five, number 69 has lost the cowling. And it's just hanging on. That's Rabasio, but he's right up there in about seventh place. So the Italian team really are dominating this race. And it seems to be Italy, really tight line. He's going right down the center of the course. Number five, he's strapped in a safety cell. He's this Papagallo man in the lead. He's the clear leader. Second, then Araldi from Italy. Third, then... Uh, 67 La Fasse comes next. Then Veep Torrenfleet is in fourth place, and there's the cowman, Ravasio. My goodness, Ravasio is challenging now. And he is uh, Ravasio is one of the fastest men on the course because now he's going up the inside of Ravasio who didn't practice or didn't put up, put up a decent time is now up in the fourth place. So now it's Italy, first, second, third, and fifth is dropping back but he's fighting Ravasio off as they passed him. And Ravasio took a tight one, but his cowling has come. Papagallo then, number 30. We are on lap five. So it's a 14 lap race. We're on lap number five. Papagallo is third. 
then Rabasio is fourth, then Torrenfleet is fifth. And then in sixth place now, the man I thought would be right up there with him, number 17, Frody Sunstall. And then following him, back a bit, the 31, Bondadrini is coming through the field, then Den Hartog. And Keepkins had that marvellous start, but he can't hold him off. Robert Fizzik is going through then. And at the moment, I can't see, he tells me at the moment. And in last place now, Betton from Spain, and he'll be really disappointed. Papagallo then down at this end to start lap number seven. He's already lap number 16. Uh, Geek Barrett number 14 is not really going too well. That's beyond Sunsdale, but it's a young lady. Second place then, Umberto Araldi in number 111, uh, number 41. The torrent leads dropping back on Walter Rabasio, but now Rabasio is the man of the moment. And I actually think that Rabasio is now the quickest catching his teammates. Adrian Morse not having a good race at all. He's down in about 12th place. Robert Fizzik is even lower. And the Brits are getting absolutely swamped by this crack Italian team. Fourth. And there's only one of them out of the first five. And he had an absolutely disastrous the back markers, 59 and 16. Second place coming down the inside, number 41, Araldi, Umberto Araldi in second, and there's Zen right on the turn, boy. Now, this is going to be absolute catastrophe. He's drifting away from the turn, boy, but that Walter Barassio, he was closing up so quick, he was already up to be in third place, and he is absolutely distraught by it. So, the Latin temperament of Walter Bravasio, and I can imagine how he feels. He had that very bad practice, very bad start, and he spun at the corner, and obviously something drastic has broken in the boat, which is really bad luck. Back to the race then. There is Miguel Betancourt, 111, who's right down Gallo. So Papagallo then, on lap eight now. Then the back markers, there's Araldi the all yellow boat, number 41 in second place. Then a back marker, back to number 17. There, then Lilure is a back marker. Then 67, that's Lafasse now in third place and Torrenfleet is challenging now for third. It's as though Viet Torrenfleet from Holland can probably get that third place by the top turn because he is leaping along. He's really pressing Lafasse. Simon Francis is leading the Brits at the moment. He's up in seventh place, so he really is doing well. He's just behind um, Hans Bosma. Bosma from Holland, so he beat Torrenfleet and Bosma. We're, it's just a question of who wins the team, the all yellow boat down at this end now. He's got back markers all around him, but he's still going strong. Then in third place is going to be number five on the outside. There's the big race for third. Five between 67, Lafasse. Uh, Antio Antonio Lafasse against Veep Torrenfleet. And Lafasse is still holding third. Torrenfleet is fourth. There's Simon really going well, considering he's got an injured leg. He now looks to be UK from, for Britain is the, the injured driver, but he is the man of the moment. He's now, I, I make it, I think he's challenging Hans Bosma. And by this time round, he looks to me as though he's gonna be right up in sixth place. Race leader down at this end now, Papagallo from Italy. And that looks to be paralyzing this lot. We are now on lap number 10, he's just gone through. Sergio Papagallo's run into the bank. My goodness, Papa, absolutely sensation. Papa Gallo appeared to hit some bad water. He ran into the side of the lake, but he is running, he is still going. Now it must have damaged the propeller. He's up at the top turn now, and he looks to be slowing. Papa Gallo, he it was a complete loss of confidence, I think. Papa Gallo looks to have, uh, he looks to be going quite a bit slower to me. Now let's look at him as he comes round because Papa Gallo might have made the fatal mistake. He's now coming down the far side and uh, he's still running, but the boat is all over the place. The boat appears to be lolloping from side to side and it's not going anything like as quick as it was. So here is the race leader. 
Now the boat doesn't seem to be straight to me. He gets down to this corner. He's going much more steadily. There is the race leader. We're now on lap 11. Now then, uh, can Papagallo, what a fatal mistake he made just after the chain, the boat reared back onto the race course. So now we'll run the watch and see if Araldi is catching him because Araldi's gone through in second. LaFast up at the top turn then. Araldi, the race leader, Simon Francis is making progress. Now at the top turn, Araldi turns now. He probably, if he can keep it on to the race, and uh, second place is there now, so the gap is 12. We'll try it again down at this end, but poor Walter Ravasio has been uh, towed off in the middle when he was probably the quickest boat on the race course. Here is the race leader down at this end now, Ravallo, a 14 lap race. And down at this end, the gap was 12 and a half seconds up at the top. He see still seems to be running okay. Here comes second place. Uh, that is Araldi and the gap is down to 11 seconds so he's taken one and a half seconds out in the length of the straight. If, uh, we have two more laps to go. Can Araldi hang on? Can uh, Araldi, can uh, him? There's Philip Smith, uh, Man Edgerton Jaguar just going through, followed by Mike Moore, followed by Bob Physick, and the Nick Sports Shoes driver is going to be really disappointed with this. He really fancied his chance. He really thought that boat leaked clear. They are really piling on the pressure. The race leader coming down the far side, and um, the gap was down to 11 and a half seconds down at this end. So here is Papagallo, the stricken Lee. He's still running, though. He doesn't seem to have done too much damage at the moment. The second place man is now at this end. This is Alberto, but there's only one more lap to go. And we are on the, we are on the last lap. Now then, can Papagallo hang on? Can, and then... Uh, okay, I, uh, so in... Second place, I make 41, but um, AJ tells me that number 17 has moved up into second place, and I'm Norway. So it looks to me as though uh, I missed it on that last lap. Number seven then is up in second place side. Now here is the race leader at the bottom turn now, and it looks as though uh, Papagallo is going to hang on number 30, and unofficially we think the second place must be the win race boat, number 17. But I still think probably 41 is, um, so 40 then goes through. There is the race. Papagallo has won it. Then Lafasque, and then Veep, the Betancourt. Then the last, um, Hans Bosmo has not been lapped. He stayed ahead of Simon France. Comes next, so that the, now our, running to my excellent lap scorer, AJ, the Papagallo, number 17. Frody Sunstra, third place, 67. Antonio Lafasque is fourth. In fifth place, Veep Torrenfleet. In sixth place, Francis for Great Britain, 73. In eighth place, number 12, Philip Smith. In ninth place, But of course, our opinion is um, definitely that Papagallo has won it. We're not certain about uh, whether 41 was second or 17 was second, but Frody Sunstrahl came from nowhere if he got through to be second, because then 97, our own Adrian Morse was, then Philip Smith, Bob Physick, Hans Bosma from Holland, number seven. But the sensation of the Rassio could have very well won the race. Then he broke down at this end. Then Papagallo ran up the bank and um, the bank back onto the race course. But he obviously must have damaged his prop. He did keep going, but Araldi was closing steadily. He was taking two seconds a lap out of him. Incident, well, not without incident, because the race leader clipped the bank he went up the bank back down again and uh, we will be able to um, bring you the latest information on this race when we've actually got it from the pits but the 
sensational news is that Papagallo has won the first heat of the World Championships from Holland. There he is, give him a big wave, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing the lap of honour, he's still going. Number 30, he was in pole position. He really was going extremely well until he made that one fatal mistake. Ravasio, his teammate in a virtually identical outfit, was coming through the field tremendously quick.